Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had that homie that's always inviting you out to eat, but he never has money, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have him smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the following patrons. Trailero760, El Skid, Nathan, Scott, aka Hobie Cat, Mika Boy, Lead With Love, Charles, Albert12, Soulstar LA, AI Vega, Esquiel, Miguel, Big Bad 48, JT, the homie Nova from B Town, Jack, Linda, Michigan Wolverines, Marius, Chevelle 66, Gigi, Abuelita's Journey, and Dallas Herrero. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you hit that link in the description below. You are definitely missing out. This episode right here, man. Being in the eye of the storm, man. When you are in the chaos, when I was in the chaos, I couldn't foresee the future. I was trapped in that whirlwind of straight chaos. Let me give you an example or a few. When I came back from my deployment in 2005, I I was I was hurting, man. I was suffering from undiagnosed PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. I was definitely self-medicating, bad, with drugs and alcohol, extremely bad. I was isolating, I was isolating in my room, and this is something I have never shared with you guys before. I pretty much spent one whole entire year in my room, at my parents' pad, drinking, using, and watching videos of my friends that had gotten killed in Iraq. And just, oh man, it was an extremely, extremely dark hole, right? And I say all of this because while I was going through my trauma, while I was going through that, I couldn't see why. I couldn't understand it. It all makes sense now, right? Because I have been chosen to speak to the masses and let you guys know, hey, there is fucking hope. There is hope on that other side of whatever you're going through. For sure there is. Whenever I was ever in the mix, let's say it was Iraq, uh, you know, fighting the enemy or putting in work, as they say, one has to accept death. You have to embrace it. You have to accept it. Well, that does something to you. You know, that's not necessarily normal. Same thing if you're in a gang and you're putting in work and you have made that conscious decision, like, I don't care. I don't care whether I live or I die. I know that feeling, right? I've been there. That is not good at all, to say the least, right? We are products of our environments. And are things necessary to survive in those environments? Yes, or else we wouldn't be able to survive them. But what I found helpful to me is removing myself from those situations. Removing the people in my life that were not beneficial to the positivity and the life of growth, success, happiness, and peace of mind. Meaning, I told you I used to drink and do drugs off the charts right before I came, became a CEO. The people I was hanging around with, my friends, they, it was always easily accessible. I never had money, but I was always getting high, getting completely smashed, shit-faced, drunk. I am, oh man, oh no, right? Because that was the environment that I was in. You know, people had been wanting me to make a video on sobriety. This is along those lines. I now have 12 years consecutive, one day at a time of sobriety, 12 years, right? Before I could not go 12 minutes, let alone 12 days, right? I'm an alcoholic for sure. By definition, through hereditary, you know, my grandpa on my dad's side, no disrespect, but I... Man, it's in it's it's hereditary, right? 
Being in the prison. 16 years. The storm, right? I didn't see what... I didn't see how bad it was until I removed myself from that situation. I was just going through the motions, making a lot of money, but also incurring, I don't, I'm not going to say incurring a lot of debt, but it's like the more money I was making, the more I was spending. Was I getting the finer things in life? Yeah, but at what cost? You know, mental health, well-being, time with the family. Right, you guys know I have a four-year-old daughter. You guys know that that changed the script, right? I was no longer a wow, wow, fucking west soldier by myself. Now I have a, a little tiny mouth to feed, you know. And for me, that changed the game. I was just going through the motions as a prison guard. Right, as an officer, a sergeant, and lieutenant. The sergeant would tell me, hey, we need this guy to go over here. Psh, no questions asked, right? In the, in the early days when I started, they didn't care how you did it. They just wanted you to do it. And you better believe the job was going to get done. Even if you had to fight the inmate, if he had to attack you, if you had to attack him to get the job done, right? I'm just be keeping it real with you guys. <laughs> it's all I've ever done. And you know you're surrounded in the environment. It's praised. Hey, good job or good looking out. You're solid. Oh, shit. That guy right there, you could trust that dude. Fuck, that guy right there, man. Um, but times have changed for sure, right? And, and I've told you guys about evolving, adapting, or you're going to get left behind. Definitely. The miscarriage that my wife and I had when I was at the CRT Academy, that hurt me. That was trauma. Oh, fuck that. I wanted a, a baby so bad at that time. This was prior to the birth of my daughter. And that that was traumatic. And I couldn't understand why, you know. When I crashed my truck in 2010 and I was on my knees crying, begging to God, why can't I die? Why can't I just die? Because that was my plan. To fucking wild out. As much as I could wild out. And once I and once I died, that was going to be at the end of that. That was going to be the rap. You know, I couldn't care less. But the, all that is unhealthy, man. And I say this speaking as a 38-year-old man. Father of a daughter. A son. A former lieutenant. Because I have found my purpose. Right. Everybody has their own purpose. Everybody has their own story for sure. But in order for you to excel. Thrive and give back. You have to remove yourself from the situations and the people that are bringing you down. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. You know, I had to cut out those friends that I used to drink and do drugs with. Not that I think I'm better than them. Not that I think they're less than me. It's just that that was not conducive to the lifestyle that I wanted to live. Right? Sure in the hell didn't want to be wilding out anymore. Couldn't afford to. It was costing a lot of pain, money, heartache, everything. People lose loved ones in life. People lose jobs, get fired. People lose businesses. People suffer from traumatic events. And during the storm, you cannot fucking see why. Why is this happening to me? Why? Why, God? Why is this happening to me? But I see it now. I absolutely see it now, right? Every BS that I went through, man, the majority of it by my own accord, is so that I can... Preach to you guys and tell you guys, hey man, there's a better way. That's not, the bad times are not going to last forever. And if you change your daily habits and surround yourself with positivity, you will flourish, right? You will blossom into the person you are meant to be. Definitely, 100%.
Even divorce, man. How many people have been divorced and they think it's the end of the world? All of this, all of this constitutes as going through trials and tribulations. Every time I didn't get promoted at the prison, when I interviewed four times for sergeant, there was a reason behind why I didn't get picked up the first couple times, right? I wasn't meant to work at a pri female prison. I ain't trying to go work at CIW. Lieutenant, I didn't initially get picked up. It took like twice, two times. And even then, even then, that wasn't the end of my chapter. That wasn't the end of my book. Because I had to see the corruption at the top in order for it to force me to leave. Sometimes things just have to get so bad that, that you need out, that you want out. And that's if you're lucky. Because a lot of people don't make it. Right? So the message for today is hope. Hope. No matter what trauma, BS... You think it's the end of the world because you can't see. It's in, you're in it, right? You're in it. But if you do not seek the proper, healthy coping mechanisms, right? You can choose the wrong things to self-medicate like I did. And let me tell you, that does not work. Or you can choose to put in the work, read books, speak to a counselor, reach out to a mentor, and surround yourself with positive people, Right. Get in touch with your faith, do what you have to do, your spirituality to grow. You see the difference there, right? So this message was about hope. Hope you guys have a good week. Keep pushing forward.